What the hell? They let him back in the building? Uh, okay, sorry, you've got to be professional about this. Good evening, wrestling fans from the world-famous AWL Arena in Tokyo, Japan. This is the Animated Wrestling League, Hontai, episode 370, and it is part one of season 19's Champions Week. That's right, over the next two episodes, this episode of Hontai and the next episode of Strong and Free, yes, we're switching them around, don't ask, we will be at seeing nothing but championship matches and every title in the AWL and beyond will be defended. And apparently, for some reason, the suspended Satoshi Tobu, apparently his suspension's up, he's being allowed back in an AWL ring, frankly, I don't agree with this. But I'm not the commissioner, what the hell do I know? Uh, did somebody forget to pay the light bill? Well, that is the, uh, the, the intro of the British Openweight Champion continuing his open challenge and open enough that it's allowed somebody off of the, inju off of the, um, the suspended list. That, that is the correct graphic. Don't know what's wrong with the audio here, folks, but... Uh oh, he was being dramatic! Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Season Zero Original, the technical wizard, the penultimate fighter, Lee Masters, individually the most successful tag team wrestler in the history of this company. He's held the tag team titles more than 10 times with three different tag team partners, the wildcard Bubba Reese, his brother Rob Masters, and most successfully with his current partner, the suplex master Sammy Nix. But he has recently acquired the British Openweight Championship of British Championship Wrestling, and they have allowed him to defend the title in the Animated Wrestling League. He started this open challenge last week with a victory over Ikemen Taro, and apparently he did not know he was facing Satoshi Tobu until we all found out. Our one non-AWL title to be defended this week, there you see it, that gorgeous United Kingdom Championship, the British Openweight title. We go now to ringside for the official introductions. Introducing first the challenger, making his return to the animated wrestling league. For some reason. Simple but effective, Satoshi Tobu. And his opponent he is the reigning and defending British Openweight Champion. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, by way of Las Vegas, Nevada. Did you lose your notes? The penultimate fighter, the technical wizard, Lee Masters! Uh, this is an officially sanctioned British Openweight Championship match under the offices of British Championship of Wrestling. President Barnabas Longford III presiding. At the sound of the bell, AWL senior official Joey Bobaganoosh in charge. Oh, good. The, the BCW president actually managed to keep his job for more than a week. <laughs> that, that's becoming increasingly difficult to do in the UK. Keep your job if you're in some kind of a leadership or management position. Po political joke. Okay, I shouldn't make political jokes. I'm really bad at them. All right, 30 minutes on the clock. This match contested under AWL rules. Collar and elbow tie up to start us off into a wrist lock, going behind to a hammer lock by simple but effective Satoshi Tobu, who was recently suspended from the AWL for... Um, unsportsmanlike conduct attacking the AWL Intercontinental Champion Kyojin Kobayashi, who will be defending his title next, by the way, against Zack Sabre Jr. In our semi-final for tonight, we've got three matches on this show. 
the British Openweight, Intercontinental, and AWO World Tag Team titles to be defended. We were supposed to have a title match for the IWGP uh, Tag Team titles, Heavyweight Tag Team titles. It was supposed to be the United Empire defending against the Puro Sentai Wrestle Ranger, but the United Empire lost the titles at the Forbidden Door. So... Yeah, that match not able to happen because the Puro Sentai do not have a victory over FTR, the reigning champions, so they are not entitled to a title match under International Wrestling Grand Prix regulations. So we, that match has been cut from the show. But we still have three titles defended tonight, four titles defended uh, this coming Monday on AWL Strong and Free. We are switching the two around because the AWL Grand Championship to be defended uh, in the main event of Strong and Free, Episode 10. So that's going to take priority. Because we respect our titles here in the Animated Wrestling League, and we respect that the Grand Championship is the top belt. A little over a minute and a half into this match right now for the British Openweight title. An open challenge, an open weight challenge, if you will, as a flurry of blows from Satoshi Tobu, the oldest ever graduate of the AWL Dojo, spent his career uh, uh, on the Japanese independent deathmatch circuit and took him a long time to get to the AWL Dojo, took him a long time to learn how to wrestle, quite frankly. But he did eventually work his way to the roster before becoming a backstabbing, cheating SOB. Referee begins the 20 count. Senior official Joey Bob Ganusha, the famous Bob Ganusha wrestling family, drawing uh, all the matches tonight. Senior official. Uh, he is uh, basically the only one authorized at this point to uh, handle these title matches here in Japan. The regulations being rather strict on that. Thank you, Tokyo Athletic Commission. Ooh! Big knee lift right to the face. And the mixed martial artist. Both of these guys similar in that they had athletic careers before coming to the AWL. They're not pure products of the dojo. And of course, Lee Masters coming to the AWL before the AWL dojo was even founded. Oh, and again, these flurry of strikes, no style, no finesse, just beating the living crap out of his opponent. That's going to be a setup for the simple but effective, the pump handle slam. And uh, yep, he's got it up. And down, we may have a new British Openweight Champion. Of course, Tobu, a former champion. One, two. At one point, a double champion holding the British Openweight and Intercontinental titles. But not on this juncture. Is it going to waste too much time? I don't think so. Going for a suplex here, I think. Yep, vertical suplex. Let's him think about it for a second, but a simple but effective classic vertical suplex. Uppercut by the champion. Oh, sidewalk slam, very quick, not letting his opponent think about it. High impact by the mixed martial arts trained. And now into a camel clutch. Has anyone ever seen a UFC fighter do a camel clutch? Because I know I haven't. That's his years and years in professional wrestling. Going on 20 years, actually, now. The AWL founded in, uh, I think, when did I start doing this? 2002, 2003, something like that. So it's been about 20 years. 19 seasons uh, on the internet. Uh, plus, of course, season zero, the AW, old AWL Deception episodes, because I had to hide that I was doing this for my parents, believe it or not, back then. Lee Masters right now, I think, looking for the move that put away Ikementaro last week, and it is the rear naked choke out of the suplex. He loves that combination of Proresu and MMA. And I don't think, yeah, Satoshi Tobu, nowhere to go. Easy victory in less than five minutes for the British Openweight Champion, the technical wizard, Lee Masters. Let's take a look at some of that action. And I think we actually do have the finish here. Vertical suplex twisted straight into the rear naked. Nothing. I mean, when, when you're upside down, you just don't have the wherewithal to block a move like that. It's a difficult enough move to block when you're just on the ground. But yeah, once you're in the rear naked choke, there's really nowhere you can go. Here's your winner, and still British Openweight Champion, the Technical Wizard, Lee Master. The first singles title of his career. And he's got a good little streak going here. 
defending it in the AWL course, open to defend it all around the world. The question is, what's next for Lee Masters? Is he going back to AWL Strong and Free to reunite uh, with the new Classics? Is he staying here with the Open Challenge? I don't know. We'll find out. Up uh, next, more interpromotional action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, one submission or knockout to decide the winner, and it is for the Animated Wrestling League Intercontinental Championship. We just had another promotion's title defended under our roof. Now we have one of our titles defended between an AWL wrestler and some Shinihon Kuroresu outsiders. Now don't let that graphic fool you, this is not a trios or tag team match. This is not Suzuki-gun versus a single giant, though that would be cool to see. The dangerous Tekkers partner, the Holy Emperor Taichi, and of course the king of Kuroresu, Minoru Suzuki, Suzuki Minoru-sama. And I'm not even going to call him San, going full Sama with this guy. Merely in the corner of Zack Sabre Jr., who won a faction representative scramble match a couple of weeks ago to earn this opportunity against Kyojin Kobayashi for the Intercontinental Championship, the contender's title. If ZSJ can get his hands on the IC title, he could. I could very easily see him tapping out five wrestlers, five victories, to get himself a shot at the AWL Grand Championship. Suzuki-gun, Ichiban, at least in their own mind, and the referee's going to have to have eyes in the back of his head this entire match. And for that matter, so will the champion. Once again, we do pay our light bill around here. And there he is, the Intercontinental Champion, making his third title defense. You can see the number two on the side plate, so you will in a second, there they are. The number two on the side plate of the title, representing the number of successful defenses, up to five. And the blank center plate, representing the limitless potential of the Intercontinental Champion. Should he get his fifth and final title defense, that center plate will be filled in with the match between the champion and the champion. The Intercontinental title cash can be cashed in. The complete Intercontinental title can be cashed in for an automatic Grand Championship match at the time, place, and under the stipulations of your choosing. It is a difficult belt to get. It's a difficult belt to hold on to. That's why we call it the road less traveled. But the ever dapperly dressed and very quickly undressed Kyojin Kobayashi has been a fine Intercontinental Champion thus far. We'll see how far he goes in his run. This is going to be a significant challenge facing a wrestler of a very different style. Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of the Isle of Sheffy, Kent, England. Representing Shinyon Professor and Suzuki Gun, the Submission Master, Zack Saber Jr. This match is going to be all about avoiding the submissions for Kyojin Kobayashi. And his opponent is the reigning and defending Animated Wrestling League Intercontinental Champion, tonight in his third title defense, fighting out of the land of the giants, Kyoji Kobayashi! This is an officially sanctioned Intercontinental Championship match under the auspices of the Animated Wrestling League. AWL Commissioner presiding. At the sound of the bell, AWL Senior Official Joey Abinouche in charge. How much is he getting paid tonight? More than either of us, that's how much. And there you see it, the white leather of the Intercontinental title. Interesting legacy to that belt that I don't have time to go into right now, unfortunately. 30 minutes on the clock, AWL rules in effect. Very similar to New Japan rules, so that's going to be good. Now, this match, it's all going to be about reign. It's going to be about avoiding the submission, Kyojin Kobayashi staying on his feet and watching his range. Zack Sabre Jr., very long, lanky limbs. He is used to having that reach advantage over his opponents. He does not have that here. 
And of course, we're going to have some Suzuki Gun BS on the outside. Any chance the King and the Holy Emperor get a chance to stick their noses into this? And oh, there we go. Think he's going for a suplex? Knee to the solar plexus. I whip into the corner, big splash. This is what we need to be seeing. Keep yourself on your feet. Don't let him get a grip on you. Ooh, a leg drop for me. The basic definition of a super heavyweight. About one minute in. And one of the advantages that Kyojin Kobayashi has is there's a lot of tape of Zack Sabre Jr. to study. And a little bit less of Kyojin Kobayashi. This is only the 31st career match of Kyojin Kobayashi, graduate of the AWL Dojo. And he is 17 and 13, ratio of plus 4. He actually has a better ratio than Zack Sabre Jr. does in the Animated Wrestling League. Z Zack Sabre Jr., mostly in tag team and trios action, has only had five matches here. He's won four of them, so that's a ratio of plus three. And again, winning that, and that includes that faction representative Battle Royal. Oh, sorry, not Battle Royal, Scramble match. And now Sabre... Here we go, this is what you don't want to see. Dragon Suplex, he does not have a horribly good grip around that enormous barrel chest of the champion. But that's exactly what Kyojin Kobayashi needed to avoid. He needs to avoid this even more. Juji Gatame goes for hold 20, Ni Juji Gatame. Trying to hyperextend the hip and the elbow at the same time. Maybe that's, oh there we go, that's the weight advantage, rolling over. Taking away the leverage, relieving the pressure on the hold. And now Kyojin Kobayashi trying to turn this back to his style of match. Goes for a power bomb. No, he's going for the buckle bomb. Oh, and he hits it. That could be a career ender. We've got high quality turnbuckle pads, but there's only so much they're going to do. One. No, not even a two count. Zack Sabre Jr., his veteran status, giving him the reserves to dig down deep. And oh, there we go. Both men go for a strike, but it's the longer legs of Kyojin Kobayashi that prove the difference maker with a super kick. And now trying to... Can he hook on the Manji Gatame? I think he's got it. He's got most of it, at least. That's a move that it's very difficult to use on a larger opponent. But damage done as Kyojin Kobayashi powers his way out of it. And that's the thing when you're doing these kind of wear-down submissions, you don't know how much damage you've done. Tiger Bomb! Original Tiger Bomb. I don't believe Kyojin Kobayashi ever trained uh, in the Unified School of the Tiger style. So there might be a bit of an infringement issue there. But going now back to the Nijuji Gatame. Seems to be focusing on that left side. And this is smart. Take away a leg of a giant, you take away the height advantage. Take away an arm of Kyojin Kobayashi, you take away the Dominator. Actually, I think you take away the leg. You can also take away the mid-leg lariat as well. Right hand, Irish whip. There's a chair that's been slid, in, slid into the ring by Suzuki. And, oh, no. Goes to the uppercut and misses wildly with that European uppercut. Kyojin Kobayashi with an opportunity to take advantage four minutes into the match. Dominator! And the referee is calling that a knockout. Well, we say one fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner, and we mean it. Now, take a look at how hard he hit here, and... Oh, yeah, he went right on his face. No protection, no self-defense, intelligent or otherwise. Here's your winner, and still... And the Minute Wrestling League Intercontinental Champion, Kiyoshi Kobayashi! Quick translation, it doesn't matter if it's classic or tetsu, I'm going to be the AWL Grand Champion. And you know what? I believe that. Three down, two to go, Kyojin Kobayashi getting ever closer to taking, to completing the road less traveled, and a massive victory over one of the top technical wrestlers in the world today. Congratulations to the Giant. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a main event where the champions are looking to beat their own record. The following contest is scheduled for one more one submission or a knockout to design the winner. And it is the main event! 
event of Part 1 of Champions Week for the Anime Wrestling League World's Tag Team Championship. All right, as the arena is illuminated by the dragon fire as in days gone by, the young dragon and his new tag team partner, seriously, only one match under their belts, one tag team victory. Though a victory in a singles match over one of the tag team champions for this man, question mark. Basically, these two, I would argue, lucking in to a tag team title match, but they have definitely earned it. Their victory came over the former number one contenders, the Pit tag team of Sombo no Yaiba and Gyokdo. Still waiting in the wings, they will be the next challengers unless they screw up and lose to somebody else. The great Tanuki from the mysterious forest, Fushiginomori, one of the uh, several yokai who have popped up in the AWL in recent years. Yokai, of course, Japanese spirits. We've got uh, Neko Musume, we've got uh, the great Tanuki, and I can also tell you we have some other uh, less than human wrestlers training in the dojo right now. But that's a story for another day. This newly minted tag team, untested, unproven in my opinion, will be facing, by one metric, one important metric, the greatest tag team champions we have ever had. Most title defenses of a single reign, and that is Tiger Mask Dobru. And there they are, possibly for the last time, accompanied by Spring Tiger, who is only in the AWL Hontai because she is one half of the Joshi Tag Team Champions. She will defend that title along with Usachan against Monster Union, Wild Thing and Nekomusume on Monday. If they lose the titles, Spring Tiger will be permanently on AWL Strong and Free. She's not a member of the Hontai roster. These two male tigers are. Of course, when we talk about the unified school of the tiger style, we cannot forget the Tiger Brothers waiting in the ring wings, hoping to take these tag team titles from their sensei to finally prove themselves and complete their training, should this match go their way. Introducing first the challengers, fighting out of Chiba, Japan, and Fishinomori. They are the number one contenders in the AWL Best Four, the tag team combination of Wyvern and the great Tanuki. All business from the challengers the tonight. Contenders. They will be reigning and defending Anime Wrestling the Tag Team Champions of the World tonight, making their eighth title defense. Accompanied by Spring Tiger, coming out of the unified school of the Tiger style. Tiger Mask 2, Tiger Zadaku, Tiger Mask W. Now this is an officially sanctioned World's Tag Team Championship match under the auspices of the Animated Wrestling League, AWL Commissioner presiding. Sound of the bell, AWL senior official Joey Bonganouche in charge. Alright, the commissioner has signed off on this tag team title defense. As we're kind of basically sorting out the tag team division post-brand split. Right hand to start us off, kick to the inner thigh by the challenger, Irish Whip. Now these two met in singles action last week and it was Tiger Mask 2 coming out the victor. However, the great, Tanu uh, the great Tanuki defeating Tiger the Dark and a standing moonsault. Beautiful. Beautiful, but deadly. Oh, and a bit of a paintbrush from the vet comparative veteran. We have a Season Zero original versus a man with about uh, seven years of professional wrestling experience now in Wyvern. Uh, how long are we going to call him the Young Dragon? It looks like we're going through a cloverleaf here. Yeah, it, it looks like a Texas clover leaf being applied. Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Oh, great counter, roll through counter by the challenger. One minute in, maybe learning some lessons from what was a pretty painful defeat 
in the singles match previewing this tag team title defense. Next episode on the AWL Strong and Free, the Canadian National Championship will be defended, all the Joshi titles, and the AWL Grand Championship, Matt Classic versus Project Tetsu 3.0 will be on the line. European uppercut by the champion, kick to the midsection by Wyvern. And, oh, beautiful meteor! I keep saying beautiful, but the young dragon, Wyvern, the bearer of the sigil. I see why the original AWL dragon, now our head trainer at the dojo. Oh! Bit of a hard shot there. Referee begins the count. The legal fighters are still Wyvern and Tiger Mask 2, Golden Tiger. And of course, now that we're on the outside, I have to mention this. I can't believe I haven't brought this up yet tonight. But the champion's advantage is in effect. Titles only change hands. Pinfall, submission, or knockout in the ring. Count outs, disqualification, or a time limit draw. The titles will always remain with the challengers. 20 count on the outside. Japanese wrestling rules apply in the AWL, no matter where we are around the world. Oh, head first into the steel steps. That's not a disqualification because you're not using the weapon against your opponent, you're using the opponent against the weapon. Up to nine, plenty of time, hitting the halfway point, and there's very little Tiger the Dark can do here. Uh, maybe there's an agreement between them not to interfere unless it's absolutely necessary, I don't know. Referee up to 11 now. Just throwing Tiger Mask into the steel superstructure of the ring. Roll through, and there we go. Back to the 20 by 20 foot AWL ring. And is he thinking Shinji Dai Sunrise? He may have been, but he may have thought better of it. Duck behind. Oh, clothesline. As Tiger Mask 2 trying to regain control here. Uh, for a tag team title match, haven't been any actual tags here, and boom! That's the move that Tiger Mask countered last week. One, two, no! Broken up by Tiger the Dark, the defense not enough. And that's where the advantage really goes to the champions, tag team experience. Two great men will always lose to one great team. And I don't think Wyvern and the great Tanuki, while I think they've got all the potential in the world as a tag team, as a unit, they don't have the experience yet. I think they were rushed into this by the rules, by beating the number one contenders. I think they were rushed into this title match. Dragon Drop, the original Dragon Drop, Dragon Drop number one, a move bequeathed to him by his trainer. As we're about to hit the five minute point here, go behind, up, and Shinjidai Sunrise! Can he get the full grip? I think he's almost got it, too. Broken up and kicked out, and again the defense not in time. As Tiger the Dark going after the great Tanuki, as little the referee can do about that, that's the two illegal combatants. Though they do both get out of the ring before the five second rule. Tiger Mask looking for either the Tiger, yeah, he's, he's looking for the Tiger Bomb. Boom! Original Tiger Bomb does not Nelson the, no, no Nelson of the legs there. And the cover, one, two, and that split second between victory and defeat. Golden Kago, Golden Kago. Five minutes. Five minutes passed. I think if Tiger Mask had gone for the cover straight out of the Tiger Bomb, that might have been the final and fatal three count. Tiger Mask 2 trying to regain momentum here, but finally a tag Kogeki opportunity. But no, the drop kick, he doesn't go for the tag. He's got tag team experience, does Wyvern. and he should have done that, but he thinks he's got this. For the third time in the match, Shinji Dai, Sunrise! And this time I think he's got it locked. Defense in, but oh, the referee goes down! The Black School of the Tiger style rearing its ugly rule-breaking head, Shinji Dai, Sunrise! No reason to bother trying to cover the illegal man, but one hell of a receipt, but did he take his eye off the ball for too long? Wyvern. In control, Wyvern dominating. He needs to make a tag to his partner here, I think. Going for the top rope. Senton ducks under the clothesline. High, cross angle, cross body. You will believe a dragon can fly. And boom with the bulldog. 23, 45 approximately, all the time in the universe. 
arm drag by the champion trying to begin and again that disrespectful paintbrush the vertical relationship being shown here Irish whip no one to tag Associated Business People of Japan kick by Tiger Mask 2 looking to put away the tag team champions but this has been a one-on-one -on -one match though it has lasted a lot longer than it did last week and a half Boston Crab not even going for the full clover leap this time Whoever in trouble, he's got to either power out of this or he's got to find a way to crawl to the ropes. So you think he's trying for the ladder. I think he's going in the wrong direction. Though Tiger Mask realized how close they were and decides to give it up on his own. And here we go, the first actual tag of the contest. And here we go. Yep, they're going for the finish. They're going for the double darkness. Doraiba! Flying through the air with the greatest of ease, the inventor of junior heavyweight wrestling. One, two, three, and that is it. Tiger Mask Dabudu breaking their own record. Eight title defenses in a single reign. I thought I thought Wyvern showed signs of greatness, but he didn't have the tag team cohesion. There was no teamwork here. But that's I don't think that's gonna be a problem the next time this team challenges for the tag team titles. There it is, double darkness driver, beautiful move, beautiful angle, exquisite professional wrestling in the tag team division, as always in the Animated Wrestling League. Here are your winners, and still, Animated Wrestling League, World's Tag Team Champions, Tiger Mask W! And that will conclude part one. Three titles up, three titles defended here in the AWL Arena. On Monday, we're going back over to Canada to the Battle Zone for four more title matches. But until then, Korede Kimarida.